Have you seen this gun before? How many of you guys have had this gun be part of your childhood? But to be honest, I was never big into Counter-Strike because I, for some reason, cannot wrap my mind around how to use a keyboard and mouse when I play shooters. That's why, guys, I have a confession to make. I am nothing more than a console pleb. But with that said, I know that this particular gun has possibly been a part of your guys' childhood or video games career. So with that said, here it is. The fabled Steyr Scout. Not the Schmidt Scout that some games refer to, but this interesting looking gun is more than just the sum of its parts. It's actually inspired a whole category of weapons, one in which you've probably already seen if you follow our channel. What gun would that be? And how has this gun inspired other guns? Well, I guess today, we gonna find out. The Steyr Scout was made upon request for a gun that serves an intermediate role that was not a full-on sniper, but they still wanted to have the capability to reach out and hit targets at distance. For a gun that's designed in the 90s, well, it's, it's very 90s looking. It's not what you would consider super modern in styling, but it's definitely not retro. Just, just very 90s, kind of like the Backstreet Boys. Now don't get me wrong, I'm by no means trying to knock this gun. It's interesting. It's got these flowing designs, and at the end, it's got this barrel that juts out, and it kind of looks like a unicorn horn. With the bipod collapsed, do you know what I initially think this thing looks like? It looks like, it looks like a narwhal, an assault narwhal. <laughs> Jokes aside, what I do want to do with this particular gun is instead of focusing heavily on our externals, I'm gonna go right in and talk about the internals because this bad boy is packing a punch underneath this flowing body. Internally, this gun is decked out with some kick-ass modify internals. The cylinder is 12% larger in air volume than modify's own Mod 24. For those of you who don't know, the Mod 24 is a highly modified and high quality sniper rifle from Modify. It's a pre-upgraded version of essentially a high-end VSR-10. It's a great gun. With its increase in air volume, the Steyr Scout cylinder is mated with a silent cylinder head for quiet shots and an air brake system for more consistent FPS. Adding to its performance capabilities, it comes with the Predator hop-up, which is ideal when using with heavyweight BBs, namely starting from 0.36 and above. While we're on the topic of the hop-up, I wanna talk about how you can adjust the hop-up. To start, you can use a very small Allen key and adjust right here on the top of the rail. It's a small Allen key here, and you just adjust it for more or less hop. But what I find even cooler is there is an alternative way for you to adjust your hop. Now, first you deploy your bipod, and how you do that is there's a button down here. Right here, you depress the button and you can pop out the bipod. And then you have this adjustment slider right here for you to adjust more or less hop. Hey, whatever you like or however you like to have your hop-up adjusted, this is a great way to do it. Finally, we're gonna talk about the barrel. It is 363 millimeters long at 6.03 diameter, so you should be getting some extremely accurate performance. The tip of the barrel is threaded in 14 millimeter CCW threads, so no need to worry about weird suppressors, just standard suppressors and muzzle devices will work with the Steyr Scout. The fit and finish of the Steyr Scout is top notch. It comes with flip up front and rear sights, as well as a fairly interestingly spaced Picatinny top rail. You've got a section up here, and you also have a small section back here. I am going to find it very interesting as to how I'm going to mount a scope to this thing or how far forward that scope is going to be. Finally, we talked about this gun inspiring other guns out there, namely something you've seen before. And which one am I talking about? Well, the AS-02. The AS-02 was directly inspired by the Steyr Scout because the Steyr Scout is classified a scout rifle. So when Amoeba decided to say, well, we're gonna make a scout rifle, when I was doing research, well, the Steyr Scout was the only reference point that I could find. And if you look at them now side by side, they're quite similar in length, 
in how they're even shaped. I mean, the AS02 is a little bit more modernized, but everything seems pretty, pretty on point with each other, even to the weight. To be honest, I'm very surprised with how light the Styre Scout is compared to the AS02. This is already a relatively light gun, but I would expect the Styre Scout to have been well, much heavier than the AS02, given the fact that it has a longer barrel assembly up front as well as an integrated bipod. But with all of that said, they're about the same. I'm using 0.2 gram BBs. I never thought that I'd have to do CQB movements with what would essentially be considered a snipe rifle. But then again, there's a lot of things in life I never imagined myself doing. Back to the Steyr Scout. Guys, welcome to the Warehouse 2.0. Before we get into shooting the gun, I wanna talk about a few more interesting quirks. Well, you would imagine that, man, this gun got one magazine, two, and what is this? Well. This is not a magazine. This is a, I, I guess, a uh, compartment of sorts for you to put your hop-up adjustment tool in this foam piece here so you never lose it. Kind of like a pin cushion. You need to kind of finagle it in there a little bit and uh, give it a love tap. The one back here <laughs> is for you to uh, put a spare magazine in this area and you can put it there. And the magazine is actually this guy here. And there's your mag. Um, interesting quirk, I would say. The safety switch is my favorite feature on this gun. It's a dial and you press down and you rotate it forward and you rotate it backwards and forwards and backwards. Just If you have a short attention span, this is like a fidget spinner for guns. I really like it. Anyways, that's me talking, more shooting. As I said, we're about 20 or so meters away. Let's go. The integrated bipod, very helpful. I have it on a box and we're about to take our first shots. Very smooth bolt. A little light trigger. Breaks nicely. Interesting gun to shoot. Gotta get used to this very light trigger pull. Recently, I was able to shoot the Silverback Tac 41P, and to be honest, it was a really good gun to shoot. It was easy on your hands, ergonomically was sound. And this one is just right up there as well. It feels good, shelves your palm nicely. The trigger breaks very light. I quite enjoy shooting this gun in general. On the level of buttery smoothness, I feel like if the TAC 41P from Silverback is now the new gold standard, this guy would be a close second place. Not as smooth, but I would say definitely very good. Let's take a look at those results. After I finished working on my holdover, I felt like I got a happy medium as to where my shots were landing, given the fact that I didn't have a whole lot of time behind the gun, just enough for me to kind of get used to where the shots were going and how overall mechanically it worked. The trigger, incredibly soft. It broke like glass. It, 
I needed some time to get used to it. And that's why you probably had a bit of variation where my shots were landing here and far up here. Now, of course, there was a flyer here and down here, but given the fact that overall everything was kind of tight in the middle and there was only two flyers, I feel like this is definitely within the range of acceptability. The gun is a good shooter. Don't let that short barrel fool you. Back to the studio. Not gonna lie, the old assault narwhal was a, an interesting shoot. To say the least, guys, if you want to watch an other gun, namely the more famous gun from Steyr, the Steyr AUG, you know, Tim did a really good review of that one. And it's the gas blowback version. So I've been graced to been able to shoot some very cool and very capable airsoft sniper rifles. And I'm going to put this one right up there. I mean, don't let the short barrel fool you. Yeah, I think it's kind of silly that they have not one, but two dummy magazine places for you to put stuff. And the foam inside this dummy magazine is just there for you to put your hop-up adjustment tool. Look, I mean, different strokes for different folks. Even though I feel like this rear compartment is, it's, uh, it's useful. My favorite thing about the gun was definitely the safety. I couldn't stop fidgeting with it. Ergonomics are fantastic. And I feel like if you ever do play an indoor CQB game with a bolt action gun, this can be <laughs> your go-to primary. Well, while this gun certainly does pack a wallop of punch, where I feel like this gun shines the most is really that, that, that bit of nostalgia factor. The fact that this is something that a lot of us has grown up with and now we can touch it and shoot it and use it. And we don't have to sit behind a computer and point and click and actually go out there and do something with it. Guys, I'm gonna tell you right now, as a terrible CS player, I feel like I'm a way better CS player now that I can use this in real life. Does it stack up well against other sniper rifles as well? I think it stacks up fantastically against other snipers. And even though, as I said, don't let the short barrel fool you, I think you can definitely reach out there and touch somebody and it can rival some of the big boys on the block like the Silverback Tac 41P. But, what do you guys think about the old Assault Narwhal? I like it, I think it's cool. I think it's got the, the 90s vibes. I also like the Backstreet Boys. But enough about me. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Would you get something like this? Or have you been, who's been waiting for this? I know there's a lot of good friends of mine that have been waiting for this gun since they announced it. So big props to ASG for bringing something cool to the market at, at a time that I think everybody's just dying for something nice. So big props to you. And guys, if you want cool products like this and many more, don't forget to check out our online store at www.rarefairsoft.com. If you like this video, give us a like. If that was cool, share with your friends. If you haven't subscribed yet, click the subscribe button and the notification bell so you get notified every time we have a new video. Guys, have a good one.